Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another video. Alright, wind from Blender to Unity. Today I'm going to show you how to make wind sway for a tree or grass using blend shapes in Blender and then importing it into Unity and adding a one simple script that will control all that. Should be done fairly quick. I don't think the results of this are very good but it's definitely a easy way of doing this kind of thing without any armature or something like that. This video was uh, suggested by Achinta Achintia Das. I think that's how I read it. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but let's get into it. Obviously, you need a tree in Blender. I already made one and I have about a few tutorials on how to do so. So go check them out and create your own tree and come back here. Select a tree or your mesh or your grass or a flower, whatever you got and go to object data properties tab right here the little triangle and you can go to shape keys and add one shape key with the plus now this is the base shape of your mesh we don't want to change this we want to add another one and this will be key one you can rename it if you want this can be like wind or something it's fine you don't have to what you will do now is go into edit mode and now you want to edit your tree in a way that the wind would okay so I'm gonna just press L while hovering over uh, my objects and then press G and Y and maybe G and X and I will just move them a little bit okay once I did that I can now select my shape key and just change the value and uh, you can see that is moving okay and this is what, how we will control it in unity once you've done that you can add more shape keys if you want to but I think this is pretty much done for me since we're exporting to Unity, I'm just going to press RX minus 90, okay, and press Control A and apply all transforms. Now I can press RX 90 to bring it back, but do not press Control A and apply all the transforms this time. Now you can go to File, Export FBX, and I will export mine to Desktop. You can see I already have mine, so I'm just going to override it. You can export it to wherever you want. Make sure you click Selected Objects and Export. Now we can go to Unity, I just got an empty uh, project with a simple plane in the scene so I can show you. Find your object and just drag it into Unity. There it is. Once you have it in here, you can drag it into the scene wherever you want it. I'm just going to make sure that my camera can see it. If you click on your tree right here, you will find blend shapes here in a drop down menu. And if you change them, you can see that the tree changes also and you can see that if you have a low poly model maybe goes to a very smooth version of it a way to fix that is going to your FBX going into model and under blend shape normal normals here from calculate change to none and apply now if you try and do it you can see that it doesn't happen anymore it just moves the tree so that's good now we'll create a script to control that variable so new create C sharp script and we're going to call it tree wind like that open it up okay if we want to access our blend shapes you want to check under what component they are and they are under the skinned mesh renderer component so we, we need to access this component so we can access blend shapes and change it okay so we're going to create a private skinned mesh renderer and I'm gonna just call it renderer and I'm gonna set it to be equal to null. You don't have to do that, you can just write it like this. It will be fine. I just like to keep my code like this. Don't know why, but it just bothers me. Now in private void start, which is called every time we start the game, we will call renderer equals to get component, and we're gonna get skinned mesh renderer. Basically what this does is whenever we start the game it takes this renderer and sets it equal to the skin mesh renderer uh, that the script is attached to. Now we'll also need a private void update where we will call our function and we will create our function down here. So private void wind. Alright so now we can call our wind function in here and in our wind func function we're going to make wind happen 
So basically what we want to do is just say renderer and we can just type in blend shape and we get two options. We get get blend shape weight and set blend shape weight. Okay, obviously if you just read it, it the get blend shape uh, returns the weight and set blend shape uh, sets the weight, obviously. So we want to set the weight to something, okay? So first you can see we have to give it a index of which blend shape or blend key we want to change. If you go into Unity, you can see that uh, this is the only one that we got and it's the first one. So you would just say zero because it's the first one and we count from zero. And then to how much we want to change it, okay? Maybe we want to change it to 10 first, okay? So now if you play the game, it will change the blend shape to 10, okay? But first you have to attach the script to the object, to the tree object, and now you can play. And you can see that it set it to 10, but that's not something we want. We want it to gradually move, and that's what we'll do now. We need to create a few more variables. I'm going to create a serialized field, private float wind speed. Okay. Private means that you cannot see it in the inspector, and the other scripts cannot. Um, access it but if you type serialize field here other scripts still can't access it but you can see it in the inspector so if I just save that and go into my tree wind thing for script I can see my wind speed that's what I wanted I'll also need a private float for current blend shape value this is the current value that our blend key has. So for example, it starts with zero and we, as we increase it, it gets bigger, okay? We're just going to set that to zero. And we will also need a private Boolean that will be called is decreasing. Hopefully I wrote that wrong and we'll set that to false. What I meant to say is hopefully I wrote that right. Okay, so we need that boolean to check if our wind speed is increasing and when it reaches 100, it has to decrease. Okay, back and then back and forth, back and forth. So we use that boolean to check if we are increasing or decreasing. Okay, hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so now in our wind function, we have to do a few things. We want to make sure that our current blend shape value is always the value that's in our blend shapes wind key. So the way we can do that is by just saying current blend shape value equals to renderer. And if you remember correctly, we have a function to get blend shape weight. So just dot get blend shape weight and we say zero because we want to get the blend shape of our um, or we want to get the weight of our first blend shape okay so now we will always know what's our current blend shape value that allows us to change our set blend shape weight progressively and we can do that by saying instead of this 10 we will type current blend shape value plus our wind speed times time dot delta time okay so we get our current blend shape value if it's zero we set it to zero plus our wind speed times time that delta time this will just make sure that no matter how many frames you have it always always runs accordingly okay and then we call this function the next time whenever let's say our current blend shape value is seven then we say seven plus wind speed time that delta time if you don't get it, just take a look and it will all make sense, okay? So if you play the game or first try to compile and then play, of course you have to change the wind speed, so I'll set it to around 10 and you can see our wind progressively moving. But the problem here is that it goes over the 100 mark and doesn't go back. So we have to do that. So we'll do that with a simple check with our boolean. So we want to check if current blend shape value is bigger or equal to 100 
that means we want to decrease okay so then we set is decreasing equal to true and then else if our current blend shape value is less or equal to zero that means we want to increase so we'll just say is decreasing equals to false okay basically we check if our if we reach the end of the blend shape and if we have we start decreasing if we haven't or if we reach zero we start increasing simply we can say if is decreasing is false an easy way to write that is like this with an exclamation mark in front so if decreasing is decreasing is false we want to render and we want to um, increase our wind speed okay like that okay so if it's uh, so if we're increasing it goes up so we're either increasing or decreasing so we can here just say else and we can say renderer dot set blend shape weight zero because of our blend shape and we set it to current blend shape value minus wind speed or not wind but wind speed times time dot delta time okay so basically what we're doing here we're checking if our value is a hundred if it is we decrease if our value is zero we increase simple as that now if you play your game and of course change the wind speed I'll set it to like 20 and if you play the game I'll just move my camera a little bit so I can see it much better okay so if I play now you can click the tree and see that our wind goes up and it changes in the scene once it reaches 100 it goes back down and it changes in the scene then it goes back up and it goes back down Okay, you can see that my wind is very subtle, but you can make it uh, much stronger in Blender by moving these uh, much farther, you know. That is basically it. Hopefully this helps you guys. It hasn't helped me that much, but it might help someone so I create this video. Go follow my Patreon, my shit, everything you got in the description. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all for joining. And I love you. Bye-bye.